not me. This is me. Hi, my name is Tio Kim Yong and I'm suffering from end-stage kidney failure undergoing CAPD which stands for Continuous Ambulatory Peritoneal Dialysis. The dialysis is 24 hours with 4 exchanges daily every 4 to 6 hours. My first exchange starts from 5.30am in the morning and the last exchange is at night 11pm before I sleep. I had this problem when I, I conceived my, my, my son. That was back in 1987. Uh, I went for my antenatal checkup and then that's where the part of that is and I did it in my urine. So from then onwards, uh, I was referred to the necrologist and the nephrologist couldn't find out what's wrong with me. So they did a biopsy and it is a minimal change. The minimal change means a very mild kidney problem, but I still they, but they still see me every four months, five months, they still see me until more than ten years. They did a biopsy, kidney biopsy again. And then they found it's a FSGS. FSGS means focal segment segmented glomerulus sclerosis. Meaning uh, that there's a lot of scar inside the glomerulus. So the cause is unknown. The doctor also cannot tell me what is the cause because I'm not a diabetic. I don't have hypertension. It's just uh, happy like that. Before CAPD, I had to undergo a minor surgery to have a tube inserted into my peritoneum. I have to take care of my diet and also to follow the doctor's prescription. There's no, uh, physically there's no symptom, but only when you test the, the urine, then there's a protein in the urine. Every working day at around 11.30 a.m., I will walk over to General Hospital to do my exchange of the day. It's only about 10 minutes walk from my workplace and it gives me a good exercise. Once I arrive at the hospital, I head straight to the CAPD unit to do my second exchange. On days that I do not work, I will do all my exchanges at home. As for my daily life, I have to like, because every month she has to take the fluid from the hospital, I have to let's say, uh, spare one or two days to, to to carry the fluid from the hospital and then sometimes she need my help to apply medicine on her back of her body so this is this a small changes not any big changes in my life I will just take good care of my mother and then help her do the housework you know, make her tired help out her this, this daily work my mom's sickness is different from other people because it's just like it's around like 0.04% in uh, in this society because her kidney failure is totally different from other patients. Doctors do not know what is the reason so as a family member I have to accept it and support her. That's what I can say. I expected that I had to do uh, dialysis as I grow older because the doctor already told me that as I grow older my kidney will deteriorate further. So, before I did my dialysis, I was thinking to myself, I have to do dialysis for the rest of my life, so I have to suffer for the rest of my life, because I don't know what is the dialysis about. Then, after I started my dialysis, and I'm, I've gone through my dialysis, then I find that it's nothing so difficult. So, because I can carry on with my life as usual, I can work, I can do my housework, I can go for holiday, and then I can do my dialysis uh, at my own uh, at my own time. So I find that it's nothing so difficult doing the dialysis. It is the exact procedure as how you do it in the hospital, just that it's done at home, but. The most important thing is cleanliness and hygiene. Keep your equipment clean, the area where you do your dialysis clean, wash your hands and put on a mask to further prevent infection. After checking the expiry date of the bag and making sure its fruit is clear, I can start fixing my tube. 
first the cover needs to be removed then fixed to my transfer set I will open the clamp to drain out the fluid the drainage takes about 20 minutes when the draining is completed the transfer set is closed the blue clamp is then opened to let the bubbles escape after that I'll close the white clamp and open the transfer set for the clean fluid to flow into my peritoneum. This will take about 10 minutes. So in all, this procedure will take about 30 minutes. Uh, my family, they are very concerned for me because, because of this, uh, of my kidney problem. So, especially my husband, he every, da every now and then he will seek some advice from Especially now, he, every time go to China, <laughs> he will ask the. If he come across any any people with a kidney problem or any doctor that is uh, any nephrolo Chinese nephrologist, he will uh, get advice from them. Chang 是這個問題你應該就要接受這個這個事實 而且一天要洗四次 my son is very supportive of me. He knows he knows that I'm doing dialysis, especially in the house. My dialysis is usually after work. Huh? The third exchange is usually after after work about five something. I'll come back to the house. I do so around that time is my cooking time. So he will help me in the in my cooking. Me and my dad really appreciate our contribution for the past twenty years to this family. So we all still love her like. I can work, I can do my housework, I can go for holiday, and I can do my dialysis at my own time. So I find there's nothing so difficult. Despite what I'm going through, I'm lucky that I have a supportive family who is always there for me in times of difficulty. Now life goes on as usual, I can still work, cook, and take care of my family. I choose not to be a sick person but try to enjoy my life to its fullest.